What's up guys? We finally made it. We made it to the desert. We got in late last night at like like midnight literally and uh, I went right to shoot some astrophotography. The sky was so unbelievably dark. It really was insane. Got a few hours of sleep, woke up uh, for the sunrise in the same spot, which was equally insane, absolutely beautiful. Now the footage you just saw was from this morning after the sunrise. I met up with my friend Jake, who I met last summer traveling around, and we went on the Schaefer Trail, which was basically like a complete off-road overlanding experience. Now I've never done anything like that before, so it was super cool. It was a 45 mile round trip loop, basically, off some like incredibly steep switchbacks and turns and over like, not really boulders, but just kind of some rough terrain. It was really, really cool. The van's been hanging up really, really nice. Like it actually stays really surprisingly cool in the cab, like way cooler than I thought. And I gotta be honest, this is it's obviously not like 100 degrees, but I would say it's upper 80s right now. I was trying to make coffee this morning and You'll never believe what happened. Check this out, some footage from this morning on making coffee in a van. I use pour over coffee. I use this anyways like in everyday life. All I need is hot water. I'll grind my beans up and then basically make some pour over coffee and I'll be set for the day. There's multiple ways you could do this, but this is the way I found that works best for me. This pot tells me when I'm at optimal drinking temperature. You can see right there in the orange. Well, I take all that back. I'm not making any coffee because my grinder that I had, I don't have the handle for the top to like spin it to grind it. There's nothing worse than like you're being so close to making coffee and then you just don't make it. I was telling them I make my coffee with pour over like a Chemex. How do you make your coffee? So jet boil, number one, jet boil, jet boil fuel. And then that boils the water in like two minutes. And then from there, I have a little filter that I put on to my trusty old Yeti. There you go. Oh yeah. Put that on top. There's three little prongs that hook onto it. And then once the coffee, or once the water's done boiling, then you do the pour over onto the filter. So you pour your grounds on the filter, pour the water over, it's done in, I don't know, a few minutes. There you go. <laughs> there you you go. got coffee on the go. Coffee on the go. Jake lend me this pair of pliers that I'm gonna try to delicately turn this and grind my beans because I forgot my handle. One thing that's been really, really good about the sun beating down on us is the solar has just been absolutely ripping all day. I've been able to run the fan, my fridge, uh, charge my phone, a few other things all at once and the solar is just handling like a beast. And this is only with one panel, mind you. Granted, we have a ton of sunlight, but it really makes it easy to be able to have power like this and not have to run a generator or plug in or anything. Just have like mobile power. It really is super, super cool. And if you're wondering why I'm like crouched down, it's because the light right now is so unbelievably bad. It's so harsh that I'm trying to find any bit of shade. So yeah, I'm kind of just huddled up in here. I think it works. We're just tucked away in a little corner in the picnic area right here. It's pretty nice. It's the only shade I've been able to find. Basically just drove all the way down the road in Candylands, came to like an end basically, and just hung out. So it's time to head back to Moab. All right, so we have about like an hour or so before the sun starts to set here. It's time for some dinner. I think on the menu tonight, I have some ground turkey and rice. Basically put those together, a little cheese on the top, and it should be good to go. I've had this cooler on basically ma the majority of the day. I put one 10 pound bag of ice in it yesterday before I left. Wow, it definitely held the ice way better well, than I thought it was going to. The water's also been working out really nice. Just kind of put that under there. Nice, sturdy, strong stream of water. This is what we currently got going on. The meat cooking up. Let's put the rice in. That's it. Took probably 10, 15 minutes probably from start to finish. Nothing extravagant, obviously. Literally just ground turkey, brown rice, and some cheese with some taco seasoning. I need to incorporate more vegetables in my diet though. Absolutely. Just not today. Mm -hmm. 
I've just arrived up here at Dead Horse Point State Park, I believe is the actual name. It cost me 20 bucks to get in, which is rather steep considering I'm doing this basically for like an hour or two tonight. But I guess the pass is good for three days. It is absolutely packed. There are so many people here. I've never ever been here before. So this will be fun. Guys, check out this view entirety. It is insane. I think below, right down there, let's see, right there, is the Schaefer Trail that we drove earlier. It wraps all the way around and just continues through this entire canyon. And like I keep saying, the diversity of the terrain here is just like unreal. It's so unique. The red rocks here, it's just absolutely crazy. And coming out to a place like this, it really shows you like the expansiveness and just like really how big something is with the Colorado River just running through it like that. Schaefer Trail underneath, it's just, man, this stuff is just absolutely unbelievable. So cool. We really didn't have like a sunset at all. It was like super, super flat. The sun just kind of like slowly disappeared behind these clouds behind us. It was almost like hazy, just didn't really, there's no color, you know, no vibrancy, nothing really making the rocks pop and rocks pop, it's kind of funny. <laughs> and the area is way bigger than I thought. Like it goes all the way up to like where that point is, I think this is the main overlook and you can basically walk all the way along the rim. It's completely like on a you know unprotected as you can see so you could definitely definitely die here if you slip up it's kind of hard to show the depth um and like contrast of these formations unless you have really good light play i'm definitely glad i checked this place out but 20 bucks Eek. i made it out here to arches national park i'm currently at the windows parking lot home of the double arch where i'm planning on hitting up for sunrise i've never been there i just spent an awesome weekend so I'll see you guys in the morning. <sighs> Nights are so short right now. Only got about slightly under four hours of sleep when I heard the other cars pull into the lot alarm went off I was like what I feel like I just put my head down but the best way when you don't feel like getting up is to just get up and start walking start moving I think I'm kind of lost I can't seem to find where the double arch is I thought I went to the signs where it was up there lots of people up there but I didn't see a single arch much less two of them I don't know if lost is really the right term because it doesn't really matter where we go just trying to find the spot where the sun is gonna hit the rocks really well. So I'm gonna go back there and maybe see if I hike around a bit. We have some tremendous color coming through the clouds way in the distance there uh, as the sun starts to rise. And the whole point is that as it rises, it's gonna hit the light among these arches behind us here. This one, and really that one too. I'm just not sure how much of the sun is actually gonna get to the arch right now with the clouds kind of being so low how they are. However, it still makes just a beautiful, beautiful sunrise and the way it kind of hazes out the peaks and the distance and stuff like that, it's really cool. Uh, like I said, I'm just not sure if we're going to get that really bright, glowing, radiating uh, red arch that this place is known for. And I think I'm at the right spot. I think that is the double arch, but I really don't know. To be honest, I have no idea. I don't know really where I am. I just know I'm in the windows section of the park, but this is still beautiful, absolutely serene and calm sunrise right now. It truly is magical. So I realized once I got down 
from the windows this morning that I was completely in the wrong spot. The place I wanted to go, which was the double arch, was on the other side of the parking lot. And then when I got back down, I realized I went like this way in the parking lot rather than this way. I'm currently making some brekkie. I'm making just some eggs. And then I'm gonna cook up some oatmeal. Um, which is good just to kind of keep me full throughout the day. Anyways guys, I think I'm gonna end the weekend of adventure right there. It was an absolutely great week and I'm super, super proud of the van. I named her Luis, by the way, if I haven't told you guys that. Thank you so very much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.